Welcome to Guide Yoga, my friends. Today I would like to share with you a class that will help you to tune in and reconnect to your body with everything that's happening in the world, everything that's happening on the news and social media, maybe something that's happening uh, in your life, your personal story and events that, that are happening with you. And if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling really, really stressed, uh, too much in your mind and disconnected from your body, from the present moment, from what exactly uh, is happening with you and what your heart is telling you, your true self. It's hard to hear yourself when you're bombarded with lots of information and lots of opinions. It's hard to hear ourselves in this kind of environment so i invite you to try this class to reconnect to your body and i want to incorporate some myofascial release techniques and for this we'll be using uh, a roller if you don't have a foam roller uh, you can make one out of a towel you take a large towel and uh, curl it into a roller really really tightly and you don't have to use a belt uh, you can just keep it as is or maybe use a pair of hair bands to keep it all together but make sure it's tight and even if you have a foam roller but if it's a hard one I encourage you to use a towel over it or maybe even just make one out of towel we don't need to have any pain we want to use it for a mild myofascial release uh, so begin the practice in a comfortable seated position, rooting through the sit bones, lengthening through the crown and softening through the shoulders. Reconnecting to our breath, trying to tune in into our breathing pattern, observing the quality of your breathing. And quite often when we are stressed, we hold our breath, we hold our bellies tight, the front line is getting curled forward, we are trying to protect ourselves and if it's a prolonged stress, uh, the body will take this posture and uh, keep it this way. So it's really important to reflect on your breathing and on your posture, which will influence uh, your psyche, your emotional being, your emotional state. Noticing what parts of the body are moving when you breathe in and when you breathe out. How much freedom you have in your ribcage and in your belly. How long are your inhales and exhales? Inhale through the nose and you can exhale through your mouth a couple of times or you can shift to exhaling through the nose too. Rooting through your sit bones and lengthening through the crown. Observe what's happening to your shoulders. Are they reaching up to the ears or they are fully relaxed? Are they curled forward? Are they curled backwards and you're squeezing your shoulder blades or they're just hanging on the sides of the ribcage freely? Notice how much tension you have in your body and where this tension is stored. Notice what's happening to your jaw, to your teeth, are you clenching the jaw? What's happening to your eyebrows and your forehead? How much volume you have in your rib cage when you breathe in? How long is your exhale when you breathe out? You can bring the palms to the heart center, bow your chin, and take a moment to set the intention for your practice. What do you expect from your yoga practice? What do you want to dedicate this practice to? What is bringing you to your mat today?
And when you're ready, open your eyes. Inhale, lift your arms up through the sides. Exhale, flexing the palms, reach your arms to opposite sides as you lower them down. You can keep your eyes closed if you wish. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up and lift. Exhale down. Inhale up and lift, lengthen. Exhale, you can try to exhale really, really slowly. Inhale up. Interlace the fingers, rotate the palms up to the ceiling. And as you exhale, start rounding the back, reach your palms forward, tuck in the chin. Notice how the back line feels for you. Maybe one side feels more tight than the other. You can move your head around from side to side, stretching one side of the neck and the opposite inhale slowly rise up growing up tall lift through the heart and exhale start rounding the back reach your palms forward inhale through the nose exhale you can move really slowly at your own pace inhale And exhale. Inhale, slowly rise up. Reach your arms to opposite sides. Left palm is going down to the floor. And you can flex the right palm. And the left ear is reaching to the left shoulder. Notice how it feels on the right side of the neck and maybe the arm as the arm stays flexed. And do the circles with the right arm, pushing the palm away from you. And you can move your chin while the right Ear is reaching to the ceiling, left ear is reaching to the shoulder. Observe the sensations, you can rotate to opposite side. Mm -hmm. And now the arm is reaching up, up, up to the ceiling, stretch to the right side of the rib cage, the waist. You can do a couple of pulses. On the inhale, you expand. Exhale, soften. Inhale, and then. Exhale, soften. Inhale, expand the ribs and notice how it feels on the right side a couple of times. And slowly start rotating, reversing your right arm back down. Feel the lengthening through the arm and the neck. Right arm goes down, head reverses. And the right ear is reaching to the right shoulder, the left side of the neck lengthening. Your left arm is going up, flex the palm, push the palm away from you. Maybe you're going to notice lots of tension through the forearm and the palm. You can start circling the right, the left arm to the back and gently move the head around while the right ear is still reaching to the right shoulder. Notice the connection of your arm all the way to the ear and to the palm. Reverse the direction. Notice how it feels, move around freely. Mm -hmm. And now the left arm is reaching up and you find the side bend. And focus on even extension through the whole lateral line. You can do a couple of pulses. Inhale, expand. Exhale, reverse. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale, and then. Couple of pulses. And the left arm reverses. And then the head. You can move your head around. And now bring the palms slightly behind you and pull the floor away to opposite sides. And begin reaching your heart forward, solar plexus forward and shoulders back and down into a gentle back bend. Rotate the biceps out. Notice how it feels, how much tension maybe you're having through the chest and this muscle coming from the back of the ear to the uh, chest. You can do circles. Mm -hmm. and slowly return to neutral. And now take your roller and we are going to the right side. You place your roller in the middle of your rib cage on the right side, going down to the floor, sinking down, and allow your whole body to sink into the roller. 
you can start pressing the right palm into the mat, your knees are bent, and you sink with the rib cage into the roller to the left. And as you exhale, you release. Inhale, expand your ribs. And exhale, release. And let your whole body sink into the roller. All the weight. Exhale, sink. One more time. Lift. Exhale, sink. And now you roll to the front. And then reverse. And maybe to the back of the ribs. And reverse. To the front. And back. If you feel that your roll is too, too soft, maybe roll two towels or re redo it and make it really, really tight. Mm -hmm. When you roll to the front, pause here for a moment, stay in this position and start doing your little chest lifts. Inhale and exhale, soften. So now your roller is more to the front ribs towards the solar plexus. And maybe if you've been in lots of stress lately, uh, you will feel lots of tension in this area. Be slow. On your, on your left, you inhale, expand your ribs. Sink the ribs into the roller. Exhale, soften. Inhale, lift. And it's not a big lift. Your gaze is just gliding forward and slightly to the front. Exhale, down. You lift. Exhale down and then return and move your towel a little lower to the lower ribs. Just be careful if you have any issues with the bone density. Sink and then lift a couple of times. You can have your right arm as your support. If you're using a regular mm, roller that you bought at the store, maybe it's really, really uh, intense for you, then don't punish yourself. Put a towel over your roller. Be mindful. We don't want to break your ribs. And if you're going too deep and you're receiving lots of sensations, too much pain, then your nervous system will block even more. So we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. And now stay neutral and rotate to the front and back to the front and back. Your top thigh can glide forward to initiate the movement. And you may feel some release through the sacrum. You can go a little more to the back ribs a couple of times. Be careful not to fall off of your roller. Mm -hmm. And then when you rotate more to the front, the uh, towel goes to the solar plexus. Just be careful. If it's too intense for you, sink and breathe. Allow yourself to sink all your way into the roller. And on the inhale, when the belly expands, the rib cage expands. You feel more pressure going into the roller and maybe some tissue will feel mm, very interesting, maybe weird, uncomfortable sensations. Try to breathe through those sensations. You can do a little lift on the inhales. If you need a little more time to be here and breathe and focus on the expansion of the rib cage, sometimes you may feel some sensations going through the front all the way to the neck or to the trapezius, just observe. And keep relaxing your jaw, your face, your lips. And try not to over arch your lower back. And then slowly you release and you move your towel higher. If, you, uh, if the towel, the roller got a little flat, then turn it around to the higher side. So then you're going to feel a little more uh, uh, pressure into the ribs. Go a little higher all the way to the armpit. Sink all the way down as if your body is melting over your roller. 
couple of lifts, lengthening and sinking into the ribs with the ribs into the roller and reversing. Lift. And exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Stay neutral and I'll start rolling to the front. And if you're a girl, you can move your breast to the side so that no pressure was going to your breast. Of times forward and back. A little more focus on the back ribs. You can have the left palm to on the back of the head for support. Feel maybe the towel touching your shoulder blade. And now pause in neutral. The towel is aligned with your shoulder blade and you start moving side to side as if you're trying to move the skin off of the ribs and almost as if you want to move the shoulder blade off of the rib cage. But make sure you're sinking all the weight into your roller. Mm -hmm. And now rotate to the front. If it's comfortable for you, it's going to be easier for guys. And if it's really uncomfortable, maybe move your towel a little higher at a diagonal line. You can sink uh, diagonally to this chest muscle attachment and then roll here too from side to side. And allow all your weight to sink. On the inhale, you expand. And try to be maybe a little slower. If you think you're going slow, try to go even slower. Mm -hmm. Do a couple of lifts, if it's possible. And then you realign your roller and staying around the armpit you go towards a higher part of your rib cage, the top part of your shoulder blade. Notice how this feels. And we are not looking for any crazy pain. If it's pleasant for you, it's good. Try to focus on breathing and relaxing, melting into your roller and letting the roller melt into the body, into the tissues. When you roll all the way to the back ribs, sinking into the shoulder blade, you can do a couple of lifts with the chest and then sinking back down. Exhale, lift and then lower. And when you are lifting, you are not just focusing on lifting the head up, you're focusing on sinking the rib cage and shoulder blade into the roller and from this action, your head is lifting. Breathe, inhale, and then exhale, slowly return. And now bring your shoulder on top of your roller and your right arm is bent 90 degrees. Start rolling from side to side. Breathe. Focusing on the inhales and exhales. And if some areas have little uh, tension or lots of tension, try to breathe through this tension. You can pause there and breathe. And do little micro movements in that spot. Mm -hmm. And then you can go a little higher to the middle of the arm. Observe your sensations as you keep focusing on your body and on the movement and on your breath, your mind is quieting down. Mm -hmm. And then you slowly uh, rise up and you take your roller and you can put it under the armpit 
between the arm and the rib cage. You can have your legs crossed or in the Z set position. So now you just focus on your breathing. Your arm is pressing, sinking the towel into the rib cage. And the focus is just to get some feedback from the rib cage. As the rib cage expands, it's pushing into the towel, towel lift, and as you exhale, soften. And notice the difference in awareness on the right and the left side. You can close your eyes. Inhale and exhale. You can remove your towel. You can cross your legs. And now lift the right arm up, lengthen and do your side bend. And notice how the side body feels a couple of times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. And now compare it to the right, left side. Lengthen through the left side and then reverse. And maybe you notice a significant difference. Lengthen, exhale, reverse. One more time, lengthen through the left, exhale, reverse. Now soften the shoulders. You can close your eyes for a moment, have your palms on the knees. Take a couple of inhales and exhales. And observe the awareness and the sensations on the right side of the ribcage on the left. The right and left shoulder. The awareness of your body in this room and space, how much volume the right side and left take and how smooth is the movement. And now the palms go slightly behind you, you're pulling the flow away from your left through the heart. Take a couple of breaths here. And again, when you breathe in, notice the sensations on the left and the right ribs. And now you can do your side movements of the head. Left ear goes to the left shoulder, and then reverse right ear to the right. And notice the sensations on the neck. Maybe after doing the right side of the ribs, the right side of the neck feels more open than the left. And then slowly reverse to neutral. Take your roller and we are going to the left side. Sink somewhere in the middle. Your knees are bent. You sink all the weight into your roller. Take a couple of breaths. And the focus is on the inhale. The ribs are pushing into the roller. And exhale. Melt as if you're melting on both sides of the roller. You can have your palms for support. Inhale. Start lifting as you sink into the roller. And then exhale, reverse. Breathe. And now start rotating, rolling to the front, sinking all the weight. And then reverse. Observe how this side feels compared to the right and where exactly you're feeling your sensations. Somewhere closer to the breast, maybe it's going to be a little more tight. The area of the bra, we always have something tight around the skin. Breathe. And when you rotate to the front, sink. And start lifting through the chest. And exhale. Inhale, ribs are expanding. And you begin lifting, sinking into the roller. Exhale down. And if you're feeling lots of sensations, keep doing this thing daily. 
uh, this movements daily with soft roller made out of towel and with li little by little it's gonna get better your diaphragm is attached all around the edges of your ribs so if the diaphragm stays in the contracted position you may feel the sensations and doing this will help to release the diaphragm if you feel that some spots uh, give you lots of sensations maybe you can uh, pause there and breathe uh, go into the solar plexus may give you a little more interesting sensations be there but then again don't forcefully push anything try to sink all your weight into the towel let your ribs expand and for me it goes all the way up to the neck I have lots of sensations around the solar plexus be careful with the edge the little bone here at the edge of the sternum and then start rolling a little more to the back ribs you can use the arm for support couple more times and now we are going a little lower on the ribs just be careful so lower ribs sink in your weight couple of breaths to get some feedback for the nervous system and now press the left palm into the floor to start lifting, sinking into the ribs and allow your ribs to expand and then exhale. And notice where the sensations are maybe radiating. Keep the weight sinking into the roller and start rolling to the front. And back and your top thigh can initiate the movement breathe remove your breast and start sinking and lifting exhale You can go as slow as you wish, try not to rush. If you have a certain spot, we have lots of sensations, you can pause there and breathe. And if you have some sensations going up your neck, maybe to the trapezius muscles, Melt your fingers into that spot and move around the tissues. And then slowly move to the back ribs a couple of times. And now put your roller higher towards the armpit area. Start sinking and lifting up. And maybe this in the area of your shoulder blade, you're feeling some sensations closer to the armpit. <sighs> Try to give all your weight into the roller. Try not to avoid the roller to lift off of the uh, roller, but mm, sink into the roller you're pushing with the ribs off of the roller on the inhale and it's going to be different sensations and now be careful with the breast move it to the side and start sinking and then reversing inhale when you roll to the front Excellent, it back. 
can combine it with movement to the back, all the way to the back. And yours. So this is a, an example for you to take this out of the context of the class. And you can do this anytime, add it uh, anytime you are stressed or anytime after, um, before the class or maybe uh, after a tiring work day when you're sitting around it, around your computer or whatever you're doing at work around the phone. When you roll to the front, be careful with the breast. And if it's impossible for you to do this chest lift, then do the diagonal movement of the roller towards the armpit to the chest muscle, sink into it, and then play with the position of your left arm when you start sinking up. So I want to, you not to sink into the belly and to lose the sinking into the roll. Sink into the roller and move around. If it's hard for you to do any rotations, maybe just move the skin around from side to side, around the armpits and the chest muscle. Uh, like this. And then when you go to neutral, try to find the, like the, other edge of the roller, touching your shoulder blade, and then start scratching the ribs, and as if you're trying to move the shoulder blade off of the rib cage. Be careful, especially if you're using your hard roller. If it feels that your head is feeling really, really heavy and it's falling, <laughs> and making your neck tired, Bend the left elbow and use your arm for support. And go to the back, bring the palm to the back of the head and sink to the ribs, to the shoulder blade, and then lift. And the lift is happening from you sinking into the roller. You're curling up the head, the vertebras, one by one, and then back. Inhale, expand the ribs and exhale. Inhale, expand, exhale. And then slowly bend the elbow and sink your shoulder into the roller. If you're losing your roller, if it's uncurled, then roll it up tightly and start going. If you have a soft massage ball, maybe a soft tennis ball, you can do that too on the shoulder. Well, this towel works just fine, side to side. And notice where you feel the sensations. For me, it's uh, more sensitive when I go to the front of the shoulder. And then you can go a little lower to the middle of the arm, side to side, to the top side, and glide forward. And you should the movement from the pelvis and you will be incorporating your uh, pelvis hip work here too. The lower back is released when you do this movement. Keep sinking the weight into the roller. And then slowly begin rising up and take your towel between the ribcage and the arm, hug it in and breathe. Feel your rib cage on the left side expanding, maybe a little more because you have more awareness because the towel is touching it. You're squeezing the towel into the ribs. Maybe the side feels more um, fluid on the inhale than before. Try to soften through the shoulders. And now remove your towel to the side. You can take cross-legged position. And now close your eyes for a moment. Take a couple of breaths. Notice now the left side and the right one may feel more even. 
Now lift the left arm up and do your side bends and notice how now you have more range of motion. And you didn't do any stretches, you just did the rolling with a soft roller. You can compare it to the right side, if it still has that same range of motion. And now keep your palms to on the floor slightly behind you, pull the floor away from you, lift through the heart, find your little back bend. And now you feel that the chest is more uh, open and it's easier to breathe and maybe less tension around the solar plexus and maybe here around the neck. And you can move your head around side to side. Notice how the neck feels more open, more equal on both sides. And now the left arm stays on the floor, right arm lift, stay in your back bend, right arm is reaching up to the ceiling. Start drawing the pubic bone to the ribs and you spiral, rounding the back, flexing the spine, rotating to the left. Inhale, up and lift, lengthen, rotate to the right. And exhale, spiral to the left. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, keep your tongue on the soft palate of your mouth. Relax your jaw. Exhale, spiral. Inhale, up and lift. Exhale, spiral. Your right arm is hooking to the outside of the left thigh. And now from here you do gentle cat cow moves. Inhale, arm is pushing to the thigh. Lift and lengthen. Next, you'll draw the pubic bone to the ribs and you round and notice how it feels around the shoulder blades, the neck, the rib cage. Inhale up and lift, lengthen, and then exhale round. Inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale round. One more time, lift and lengthen, exhale round. And now grow up tall and reach the left ear to the left shoulder, right shoulder is reaching down. Slowly start tucking the chin while the left ear is still reaching to the shoulder and then reversing. Notice how it feels on the neck and then you can rotate the chin to the right and up and feel the stretch move to the front of the neck and exhale, tuck. So notice a play between the front neck stretch and the back of the neck stretch. Inhale and exhale slowly reverse and do the opposite side stretch for a moment. Return to neutral and now release the twist, bring the palms to the floor, lift through the heart. Maybe your back bend is getting a little deeper and maybe one side is more open than the other. Move from side to side. Notice any differences on the neck. And let's do the opposite side, right arm stay on the floor, left arm lift, stay in your back bend. You can take a couple of breaths, opening the rib cage. And now start drawing the pubic bone in, round your lower back, middle back, upper back and spiral to the right and down. If needed, pause here for a moment for a couple of breaths. Breathe into the left ribs, left shoulder blade area, lower back. And then inhale, reverse, go into your back bend, lift through the heart, rotate to the left, and then up and exhale, spiral. Inhale, up and lift, exhale, spiral. Inhale, up and lift, lengthen. And then exhale, spiral, and hook your left arm to the outside of the right thigh, and slowly begin rolling up, and you're finding yourself in the twist, lifting through the heart. Grow up tall, root through the sit bones. As you exhale, draw the pubic bone to the ribs and you're rounding, tucking the chin and the left arm is pushing into the thigh and you're creating extra tension coming from the neck, trapezius, shoulder blade, shoulder. Inhale up and lift, lengthen. Exhale, slowly round. And you can initiate the movement mm, following your gaze. The gaze is gliding up and then the body is following. And then exhale, slowly begin rolling down. Inhale up and lift, lengthen. And exhale round. Inhale, return to neutral. And now the right ear is reaching to the right shoulder, left side of the neck is lengthening. 
start tucking the chin, notice the left side of the neck, stretching, and then reverse. And then when you tuck the chin, right ear is still reaching to the shoulder, move the chin to the left as, you're, as if you're trying to sneak peek with the eyes to the ceiling and notice and then lift and notice how the stretch move to the front of the ear, front of the neck. And then slowly reverse to tuck in the chin and then repeat it a couple of times and notice how this feels for the neck. Inhale and exhale, slowly return and now soften the left side. Left ear is reaching to the left shoulder, right side is lengthening. Return to neutral inhale and exhale, release. And again, lift through the heart palms, so slightly behind you, push the flow away from you and it helps you to move into your back bend and your heart is opening. And maybe you're noticing it's easier for you to breathe here. Your ribs are a little bit more fluid. Notice how it feels around the solar plexus. Move your head around. Maybe you can circle the shoulder here while the left is reaching to the left shoulder. Your right shoulder is trying to rotate or move back and forth. And then the opposite side. Move around. Do a couple of freestyle moves. And slowly return to neutral. Keep your palms on the knees, shift the torso to the right, and then send your spine back. So you are uh, rounding the back. Pause here for a moment, tuck the chin, and breathe into the back ribs. Inhale and exhale. And then start centering, but stay rounded. Pause here for a moment and then shift to the left. And in order not to fall, reach your knees down. Palms are holding onto the knees. You're rounding and reaching your spine back. Ribs are expanding on the left. And then start doing full circle, rotating and hinging to the front. Inhale, exhaling, rounding back. Inhale, exhale. Big circles and then change the direction. Notice how it feels in your sternum. It gives me interesting sensations when you move back after everything we've done. Inhale, slowly return to neutral, and now send your left leg to the outside of the hip. So you find yourself in that set position and especially if you have a really tight hips and maybe you are looking a little crooked, you can take your roller uh, and or maybe a small ball and sink into uh, the edge of your roller. So I'm sinking with my glutes into the edge of the roller for some support, but I'm not going too high. And it's going deep into piriformis, uh, when we are stressed, we are also tightening our glutes, curling the tailbone under, making our hips tight. So this will help us uh, release our hips. Lean forward, keep sinking into your roller. Lean forward, keep your palms on the floor, the blocks. Push the floor away from you and round the back. And then as you inhale, draw the mat towards you to tilt the pelvis forward, lift and lengthen. Exhale, round. And if it's hard for you to be on the roller, maybe have a small ball or a tennis ball, and you can use that under the glute. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And then exhale round, expand the back line. Inhale, lift. And as you exhale round, pause here for a moment. A couple of breaths. And you can visualize any, visualize the back of your heart opening up and any unwanted emotions, experiences, memories that are stuck in your heart that are holding you off from growing, moving forward, moving on. Visualize all of it leaving the heart. Visualize the light from the universe, healing light from the Creator entering the back of your heart, 
healing everything that needs to be healed this light is absorbing all the darkness and all of us have this and it's okay but probably it's time to let it go quite often we are holding off ourselves from our healing not allowing ourselves to let go because we have certain ideas about whose fault it is who is guilty fear and fear just try to clean it all out erase it and let yourself have a new start inhale shift your pelvis forward lift and lengthen and then start sinking all the way forward and maybe your hips are really tight you cannot you cannot go all the way down that's fine stay here and breathe and if you are if it's possible go a little lower go to your forearms some of you may be able to go a little lower but try not to uh, collapse to the right side this way you are avoiding your stretch try to be centered centered between your knees sinking down you can even shift a little to the left and allow your belly to be relaxed breathe and slowly start circling yourself moving the torso to the right all the way to the right to the right to the right and you're finding yourself in a twist in your lower back and your waist and staying in your forearms breathe and if you're able to sink to your belly you can sink to your belly if you're able to add a twist thread the left arm under the right armpit sink down you can use something for support under your uh, skull allow the ribs to expand And the right palm is pushing to the floor to help you lift. And then your right palm stays on the mat and you lift the hips and left arm is reaching up and back, expand through the front of the body and send your breath all the way to the lower belly and the hip flexor, uh, pubic area, especially if you have scars in this area. Inhale up and lift. You can use the block onto the right arm for support or maybe a small chair. Inhale up and lift exhale down and the next time you lift stay lifted big circles with your left arm keep the arm actively lengthening feel the connection of your arm to the rib cage to your belly and then reverse through the opposite side inhale and exhale release now both palms stay on the floor around the right knee and now you sink your shin bones to the floor to lift the hips and you stretch again through the quad and hip flexor and here through the belly remember when we are tightening up we're curling down so it's important to release this to uh, let the brain um, see like a new posture and then the new uh, we can control the way our brain works and what kind of hormones uh, it's releasing into the body by controlling our posture couple of more times inhale exhale inhale exhale when you lift lift the left arm up and spiral the armpit to the floor and then reverse exhale spiral towards the floor if you need it sink the hips lower and then lift up exhale spiral so you're in a side bend edging the spirals And then exhale, sink the hips down. Cross your legs for a moment. Bring your palms to your knees, center yourself around the back. And then inhale, lift and lengthen. And notice what changed in your body on the left and the right side of the back. Do you feel any difference? Exhale, round. 
Inhale, lift and lengthen. And now reverse, the right foot goes to the outside of the hip. You can sit on your roller or the ball. And palms are staying on the floor. You're sinking the hips as you tilt the pelvis backwards. The glute is sinking into your roller. And then inhale, tilt the pelvis, pelvis forward, lift and lengthen. You can be on the blocks with your palms. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Round. And lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen. And begin folding down. And again, trying to stay centered. Stretching your outer hip. For some of you, you may feel your inner thigh too. And allow your belly to be relaxed and softened. Try to shift a little to the right side. Slow down your breath. And as you exhale, start circling to the left, all the way, finding your twist in your waist. The legs stay in the same position. And then if it's enough for you, you can stay here and sink and breathe. If you wish, you can add a deeper twist, thread the right arm under the left armpit. And if it's hard for you to lower the shoulder down, then just put something under the head for support, even your roller. Take the ration that works for you. Expand your ribs. Allow your belly to move. Allow your lower back to move when you inhale and exhale. Maybe you can even feel something moving around your sacrum. When you're ready, the left palm is pushed into the floor to help you lift up. Your left palm stays on the mat and you sink the shin bones to the floor to lift the hips up and stretch through the front line. Open the rib cage, the belly. Exhale down. So you inhale and send all the breath here. Feel the sensations. Exhale down. Inhale up and lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And big circle. So stay in this back bend and circle the top arm. And arm is actively lengthening. Notice how it feels in your ribs. And then opposite side. Inhale and exhale, sink the hips down, bring both palms down, aligning over the knee, as if you're framing the knee. And now use the blocks if needed, if you need a little height, so you can be on the fingertips and start lifting the hips and you're rotating the chest to the left. So notice how it feels through the quad hip flex and here through the waist. And then sink, couple of lifts. Keep breathing. And the next time you lift, your left arm stays on the floor of the block. Right arm lifts up and you stay in this side bend. You can do a couple of breaths here. Notice the arm is actively lengthening and notice how the arm is if, as if it's growing out of the waist. And when you expand through the breath, decompressing, you feel extra stretch. And now you do this spiral of the armpit. You can allow yourself to sink the hips a little and then lift. You can gaze up to the ceiling. Notice how it feels through the rib cage when you spiral, through the belly when you do the opposite spiral. Try to connect to this area. Breathe, inhale, send the breath to the pubic zone. Exhale, lower the sink and sink the hips down and crossing your legs. You can cross them the opposite way, lengthen, root through the sit bones and lengthen through the crown. Soften the shoulders. Notice if anything changed in your posture since the beginning of the class. 
in the way you feel. And as you exhale, start rounding the back, reach the spine back. And then inhale, lift and lengthen. And maybe now the left and the right sides of the torso of the rib cage in the back feel more equal, the back and the front. So little by little, your body is relaxing, your nervous system doesn't think anymore that there is a threat to you and it's letting go. You're stimulating your vagus nerve, your parasympathetic nervous system. Return to neutral and start massaging the tips of the ears. And going up, 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 start uncurling the little uh, curly parts of your ears to stimulate more relaxation. Exhale, you can exhale through your mouth if you wish. All the way and curling all the way. And for some of you, maybe it's going to feel a little uh, too much. Just be careful, be mindful of your body. Be slow. Mm -hmm. And now start massaging the area behind the ears, the spots behind the ears. Massage, sink the fingers but don't try to break your neck just let them sink and melt into the tissue circle and then start gliding the fingers down down the neck all the way to the clavicle bones breathe And now start transitioning to your tabletop position. Bring the palms right under the shoulders, spread the fingers, lengthen through the crown, find your neutral spine. And you begin shifting the hips back, controlling your neutral spine, controlling the position of the pelvis. Don't let this happen when you move back. Reach the sit bones back and reverse. Visualize uh, two dots in the back wall and they are supposed to align exactly with your sit bones. So the sit bones are supposed to touch those dots. And it means you are not supposed to curl the pelvis or arch your lower back. Otherwise, the dots, uh, the bones and the dots will not connect. The next time you shift back, exhale, direct the sit bones down. Allow yourself to curl the pelvis under, gaze to the belly button. Pause here for a moment. Expand through the back line, breathe. And now start sinking your lower legs to the floor and your shoulders are moving forward. You're staying in your rounded position. Pause here for a moment and breathe. And then return to neutral. Inhale, shift the hips back. And as you exhale, do your wave. Keep moving your shoulders forward, stay rounded. And when you land the shoulders over the wrists, then you return to neutral. Couple of more times. Inhale, back. Exhale. And lengthen. Inhale, back. Exhale. One more time. Lift and lengthen back. And exhale and lengthen. When you move back, uh, pause here for a moment in your child's pose, extend through the arms. Observe what's happening to the ears. And now start, keep your arms extended, palms are pressing into the mat. You lift the hips and move your hips forward and you're finding yourself in half plank and you're doing your waves in half plank. Shift the hips back, draw the pubic bone in, round and slowly and curl, moving forward, lengthen through the crown, back into half plank. Shift the hips back, draw the pubic bone in, notice how it feels for your back line, and extend. Couple more times back. And when you extend, you go to half plank, you're not collapsing the hips to the floor, you're not going to cobra or upward dog. Back. Focus on your breath. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Now curl the toes, lift your knees, find yourself in your plank. Shift the hips back and up. Downward dog. Walk your legs here. Notice how the downward dog feels. Sometimes 
slow inhales and exhales. And begin walking your feet to the front of the mat. Do it through the feet and slowly begin rolling up on vertebra by vertebra at a time into standing position. Rooting through the feet, aligning uh, your hips over the knees. Shoulders over the hips, crown over the spine. Observe your posture, the position of your head, the position of your shoulders, the arms. Maybe one arm feels longer than the other or they feel equal. One shoulder feels higher than the other or they're equal. Slowing down your heart rate by controlling your breath, slowing down your exhales. When you're ready, open your eyes, inhale, lift the arms up and find your back bend. Exhaling, begin to fall down, sinking from uh, the hips. And if you need to bend the knees, focusing on keeping your back straight all the way down. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, step or jump into plank and move to your chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a couple of breaths, inhales and exhales. Inhale, send the gaze to the front, bend the knees. You can pause for two, one, two, and push through the balls of the feet to jump forward. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, folding down. Pause here for a moment and walk your legs. Try to shift the weight slightly forward to the balls of the feet. And begin rolling up one vertebra by vertebra at a time. Inhale, lift the arms up and find your back bend. Exhaling, folding down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, send the gaze to the front, bend the knees, pause for two, and jump forward. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, fold. Straighten your right leg, keep your left knee bent, and twist to the right, stack your shoulders, reach your right palm up. Exhale, switch sides, straighten your left leg, soften the right knee, twist, stack the shoulders, gaze up. Exhale, lower your left arm down and roll up slowly, one vertebra by vertebra at a time. Inhale, lift the arms up and find your back bend. And exhale, folding down. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, step or jump back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Slowly lift your heels and roll forward in a wave-like motion into high plank, puff up the back, protract the shoulders, and breathe. And now shift the hips back and up, lift your right leg up and reach your left heel down. Pulse your right leg to the ceiling. One two, three, four, and five. Right leg lowers down, 
Lift the left leg up and reach your right heel down to the floor. Keep your hips squared and breathe. Pass one, two, three, four, and five. Lower your left leg down. Lift your heels and make a big way forward into rounded plank. Puff up the back, hold. Breathe. Two. Three. Four. And five. Shift the hips back to downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, bend the knee and bring the knee to the nose, align the shoulders over the wrists, and then shift the hips back up, one leg a dog. Bring the knee to the chest, nose to the knee, two, and back up, three, four, and five. Step the foot between the palms, lower the back heel down and rise up for your warrior one. And notice how your upper body feels, maybe it's a little lighter, easier for you to have your arms up, less tension in the rib cage. Breathe. One. Two. Three. Four. And five, exhale, frame the foot, step your right foot back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, bend the knee, bring the knee to the chest, reach the nose to the knee, knee to the nose. Inhale, shift the hips back and up, one leg, one leg dog. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to chest. Three. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to chest. Four. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to the chest. Five. Step the foot between the palms. Lower the back heel down. Rising up, warrior one. And breathe. One. Two, three, four, and five. Exhale, frame the foot. Step your left foot back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, shift the hips back and up, downward dog. Lengthen through the sit bones. Keep your spine neutral. Inhale, lift your right leg up and step the foot to the front of the mat. Lower the back heel down and find your warrior two. Pulse for five. One, two, three, four. Four and five. Hold and take five inhales and exhales. Four and five. Flip your front palm up and reverse the warrior. And now see if you can keep your front knee bent. Root through the feet and spiral your right armpit to the left as if you're trying to touch the left toes. And then reverse. You can use the left palm for support. Reverse. Exhale, spiral. Inhale, up and lift. Exhale, spiral. Inhale, up and lift. And now find your side angle stretch. Bring the palm to the floor. The left arm is reaching to the front. Hold. Two, three, 
four and five. Slowly raise up and find your reversed warrior. Inhale and exhale, extended side angle stretch. Inhale up, exhale, extended side angle stretch. Inhale up, exhale, extended side angle stretch. Inhale up, exhale, extended side angle stretch. And now lower your left palm down, lift your left heel, rotate your right toes to the right, scissor the legs, root through the feet, lift the hips up, find your side stretch, and then exhale, sink the hips down. Inhale, lift the hips, and you're gonna feel your lateral line stretching, outer hip, exhale down. Inhale, up and lift, exhale down. Inhale, up and lift, lengthen, Exhale down. Inhale up and lift, lengthen. Exhale down. And slowly reverse. Extend your front leg. Keep reaching your left heel back. And try to keep your belly touching the thigh. Lengthen through the crown, lengthen through the sit bones. Use the blocks if needed. Extend your right leg and then bend. Extend and bend. If you are hyper flexible, don't hyper extend the knee. Focus on movement, focus on moving forward, working with your front ankle flexibility. And breathe. Bend the knee, step your right foot back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up, step it to the front of the mat. Lower the back, heel down and rise up for your warrior two. Root through the feet and pulse for five. One, two, three, four, and five. Hold and take five inhales and exhales. Root through the feet to lengthen to opposite sides through the arms. Three. Four. And five. Flip your front palm up. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, spiral to the floor. And then reverse, inhale. Exhale, spiral. Hold your balance. Inhale up. Exhale, spiral. Inhale up. Exhale, spiral. And now reverse. Inhale and exhale. Find your side angle stretch. Take five breaths here. One. Two, three, four, and five. Root through the front foot and rise up. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, extended side angle stretch. Inhale, rise up, reverse the warrior. Exhale, extended side angle stretch. Inhale, up, reverse the warrior. And exhale, extended side angle stretch. The last one, inhale up. Exhale, extended side angle stretch. Frame, lower your right arm down, lift your right heel, rotate your left toes to the left, scissor the legs, adjust the position of your left foot. Root through the feet, lift the hips, stretch through the hips, through the side body. Exhale, sink the hips down. Inhale, up and lift. Exhale down. Up and lift, lengthen. Exhale down. Inhale, up and lift. Exhale down. Inhale, up, reverse, rotate to the front. Frame your front foot, reach your right heel back. And slowly extend your left leg. 
don't hyperextend the knee. And when you bend the knee, you can allow it to move forward, working on front ankle flexibility. The belly is touching the thighs. Try to keep your spine neutral. Reach the sit bones back. Root through the ball of the big toe into the mat. Breathe. And the next time you bend the knee, frame the foot, step your left foot back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Lift your heels and reach your heels to the right. And start reaching your hips up, up, up into this side leg creation. As if you're trying to create a rainbow with your body. So how it feels through the side. And then you can slowly reverse into plank with one arm reaching to the front. A little move to bring you into the present moment. Reach your left palm down, shift the shoulders forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Exhaling all the tension that's arising, that's been stored deep in your body. Lift your heels, twist the heels to the left, and reach your right arm up and to the front. Side body stretch, lift the hips high and higher. Breathe. Expand the ribs. And now slowly try to move back into plank with one leg, re arm reaching to the front. Being fully present. Inhale and exhale, lower your right arm down. Shift the shoulders forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and step it to the front of the mat. Lower the back heel down and rise up for your warrior two. And now extend your front leg and find your triangle. Gaze up. Reach your arm to, left arm to the front and start rotating the chest towards the floor. So your right hip is reaching to the back of the room and keep rooting through the ball of the right foot. Soften the front knee and then extend. Bend and extend. Bend, extend, bend and extend. Keep the knee bent, rotate the chest to the left and reach your right arm up, hover, breathe. And maybe you can play with rotating the chest to the floor and then to the side, to the floor, hold your balance. And to the side, to the floor, and then to the side. And when you rotate to the floor, lift your left heel up, Push the ball of the left foot, rise up, extend in your right leg, and move into warrior three, find your balance. Keep folding down into standing split, reaching your nose to the shin bone, lifting your right leg, lifting your left leg higher. And lower your left foot all the way down. Bend and extend your right leg a couple of times. And then when you bend the knee, frame the foot, step your right foot back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and step it to the front of the mat. Lower the back, heel down and rise up for your warrior two. Inhale and exhale, extend the front leg and find your triangle. Gaze up.
Right arm is reaching to the front of the mat, next to the ear. And now rotate your chest to the front, reaching your right arm forward and left hip is squaring to reach back. Soften the front knee and start directing the knee to the front. And then extend the leg. Bend and extend. Notice how it feels through the hamstring, maybe your inner thigh. And breathe. Keep your lower back lengthened. And now bend the knee, extend your right arm, rotate the chest to the right, hover. And as you exhale, you can rotate to the floor. Inhale, rotate to the side. Exhale, to the floor. One more time, inhale to the side. Exhale to the floor, lift your right heel up. And now soften the right knee and push with the ball of the right foot to lift your right leg up. Extend the left leg, flex your right foot, square the hip, and reach your crown forward, right heel back. Four, warrior three. Find your balance, reach your arms to opposite sides. Find your focal point, slow down your breath. Inhale and exhale, slowly start lowering your arms down, folding down into standing split. Observing where you have your restrictions, where you feel tight. And exhale, lower your right leg down. Bend the front knee and extend a couple of times. And the next time you bend the knee, frame the foot, step your left foot back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up and step it to the front, to the outside of the right foot. Lower your left knee down and lower down into your lizard. Slow down your breath. Lengthen through the front line. And now extend the arms and walk your right foot to the left edge of the mat, lowering the right shin bone down and finding your pigeon. Squaring off through the hips. You can stay on your forearm so you can go deeper. And slowly start extending your arms, roll to the right hip, right glute, bring your left knee to the right arch of the foot, keep your right palm on the mat and now lift the hips, find your back bend, open through the heart, open through the hips, exhale down, inhale, exhale down, inhale up and lift, exhale down, inhale up and lift. Exhale down. Extend the left leg out to the side. Front foot stays to the front of the groin. Flex your left foot, reach your right arm up and find your side bend. And then exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, spiral your chest to the thigh, reach your arm away from you, and then reverse to the side bend. Exhale, spiral. Inhale out and lift. Exhale, spiral, hold, forward fold, and if you wish, you can reach the arm to the outside of the foot, use the bicep strength to reach your chest deeper to the floor. Belly is reaching to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest, 
exhale, reverse, and now reach your leg to the front, and you find in yourself in Janu Shishasana, lift the arms up, inhale, soften the knee if needed, exhale, begin folding down. Two, you can play with pointing and flexing the foot. Three, four, and five, inhale, lift your chest halfway up, exhale, return. And now cross your legs and move forward and jump into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and step it to the outside of the left palm. Lower the right knee down and find yourself in lizard. Start lowering the forearms if you can to the floor or the blocks. Lengthen through the crown, through the front line. Breathe with your lower belly. Soften the pelvic floor. Inhale and exhale, slowly start extending your arms and move your left foot to the right edge of the mat. Lower the shin bone down, try to square off through the hips, be careful with the knee and lower down. Lowering as low as possible, use a block under the chest or under the forehead or a pillow. Slowing down your breathing, softening your belly and your pelvic floor. Inhale, slowly begin lifting the torso up and roll to the left hip. Bring the right knee to the left arch. Keep your left palm on the floor, start sinking the shin bones into the mat, lifting your hips up, reach your right arm up and back, find your back bend, and exhale down. Inhale, up and lift. Exhale down. Inhale, up and lift. Exhale down. Extend your right leg out to the side. Bring the heel, the front heel to the pubic bone. Flex your right foot. Inhale, lift the left arm up and find your side bend. Inhale, and then exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, release. Inhale, side bend. Exhale, find the spiral. Inhale, rotate up to the ceiling. Exhale, spiral. Inhale, up and lift. Exhale, spiral and hold. You can reach the palm to the outside of the foot or the shin bone to reach your belly to the thigh. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, reverse. And now realign yourself to face the front of the mat. Right leg is moving forward. Left foot is touching the inner thigh, knees reaching down. Inhale, lift the arms up, flex the right foot, soften the knee if needed, and begin folding down. The bed is reaching to the thigh. You can play with pointing and flexing the foot while you're going lower and lower. And remembering it's your practice, it's your body. Observe how you feel, don't force yourself. Inhale, lift your chest halfway up. Exhale, reverse. Start bending the right knee, lifting uh, the left knee. Feet are about hip width or hip width or wider apart and start reaching one knee to the side and then the other and then the opposite. And now when you reach both knees to the left, right arm lifts and you do the spiral, reaching the arm to the back and then reverse, 
Inhale, exhale. Inhale up, exhale, spiral. Inhale up, exhale, spiral. And then reverse, left arm goes to the floor, right arm lifts, and then you cross the right leg and bring it to the outside of the left thigh, reaching the knee down and folding down into hip stretch, sinking the belly down, and then reverse and do the opposite side. So the idea is to bring the outer edge of the foot to the floor, lifting the sole of the foot, reaching the knee down and sinking the hips down. You can Pause and breathe for a little longer, or you can move dynamically. Up to you. One more time. And then slowly return, keep your knees bent, feet uh, parallel, keep your palms on the shin bones, draw the pubic bone in and round the back, tuck the chin, and then drag the feet towards you, lift through the heart. Exhale, round, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, round, draw the pubic bone in and begin rolling down one vertebra by vertebra at a time. Lower the head down. You can squeeze the thighs in into the chest and rock from side to side. And extending your left leg, keeping your right thigh in to the chest. Hold the left palm on the outside of the foot or the shin bone and extending the leg. Try to cross like a little out to the left. Notice how it feels and where you feel your sensations. Play with pointing and flex in the right foot, but try not to lift your right hip off of the mat. You can play with rotating the thigh out and in while the foot is flexed and while the leg is uh, in adduction going in to the left thigh. And now bend the knee and continue the twist. Reach the knee down and gaze to the right side. And then slowly release. Right leg extends, left knee bends, squeeze it in. And now start extending your right leg, hold the palm on the outside of the foot. You can use the belt uh, outside of the ankle or the shin bone and start extend as much as you can to the right, but keep the glute, the uh, right half of the glute on the mat. And then play with pointing and flexing. The more extended your leg is, the more challenging it's gonna be. Keep reaching your thigh into the belly. And then you can play as you flex the foot, internal, external rotation while the leg is adducting. Notice where you feel your sensations. And then bend the knee and keep twisting, reaching the left side to the floor, gaze to the left. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. And now take your roller and put the roller around the uh, lower edge of your shoulder blades. And it start melting over your roller. You can have the palms under the head if it's too tough for you for the, on the chest or on the mat. You can extend the knees out, supine butterfly. You can have your arms 90 degree or extend it out to the sides. And as you breathe, let the ribs expand and press into the roller. And 
bring the palms to the back of the skull, start sinking the ribs into the roller, tucking the chin, and your gaze is gliding on the ceiling and moving to the front, and then slowly reversing. If it's challenging for you to have the knees out, you can keep them uh, lifted to the front and back and out and the gaze is gliding on the ceiling and you're melting the ribcage to the roller and then reversing and when you lift up rotate and reach your right armpit to the left knee and then center to the right and you're sinking into the roller couple more times and it's not about reaching the head forward or to the ceiling it's about sinking the ribs and then letting the ribcage rotate the ribs sink the ribcage rotates one more time and then slowly reverse and now move your roller a little higher in the middle of your shoulder blades And notice how this feels. You can have your arms in diamond shape, knees in diamond shape. Notice how it feels in the front, in the back. And from this position, you can start moving from side to side. You can hover the head, support with the palms, as if you're trying to move the shoulder blades from side to side or the skin off of the shoulder blades, as if you want to scratch the back, kind of up and down, side to side, contracting the sides of the body, noticing how this feels. And you can go a little higher to the trapezius, and if the hips want to lift to give you more weight into the roller, you can let them do it. Noticing how this feels. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, slowly move your roller away. And roll down all the way to the floor. Give yourself a hug, hugging on the knees. Let your shoulder blades melt into the mat, extend the arms, lower the feet down and extend the legs, palms facing up. Scanning your body to make sure each and every part is completely relaxed. Relaxing your feet, your calves, your shins. Relax your knees, your thighs in the front, in the sides, in the back. Relax your glutes, your sacrum. Your big area, front of the hips, belly, lower back, relax your rib cage. Let it be soft and fluid.
relax your shoulder blades, shoulders, arms, wrists, fingers. Relax your heart center, your lungs, your throat. Relax your skull, your face, your forehead, eyelids. cheeks, jaw, lips, tongue. Place your tongue to the soft palate of your mouth. Slowly begin bringing awareness back to your body, moving your toes, your fingers. Bring your knees in. And rolling to your right side for your fetal position. And slowly rising up to seated. And if possible, you can sit on your heels, curling the toes, keeping your eyes closed. Lengthen through the crown. You can bring the palms to your heart center and take a moment to think about your intention. Reflecting how you feel in your body, in your mind, in your heart. Noticing how it feels to breathe, how it feels in your rib cage, in your shoulders. Being grateful for all the tension you were able to release and all the new energy you were able to cultivate.
Thank you guys for joining me for this practice. I hope you feel much better after this class. You release the superficial tension in your body and you were able to go deeper into your stretches in the standing sequence at the same time generating uh, some energy uh, connecting to your breath, connecting to your body and the movement. Please leave me a comment how you feel after this class. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, share with your friends until we practice again. Namaste.